click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about that is how H2SO4 is a strong oxidizing as well as it is a powerful dehydrating agent. And now in this topic we are going to talk about the few chemical reactions of H2SO4. So what are those? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, here are those reactions that is what I am going to talk about. So let us start with the first one that is so the action of H2SO4 on CF2 that is calcium fluoride will result in the formation of calcium sulfate that is CaSO4 along with that the formation of two moles of HF that is hydrofluoric acid. So even here basically we can prepare a volatile acid. So talking about the next one that is suppose if two moles of FeSO4 that is ferrous sulfate is treated with two moles of H2SO4 and suppose if we are providing a particular amount of heat so therefore this one would be converted into that is ferric sulfate that is Fe2SO4 thrice with the evolution of SO2 as a gas and two moles of H2. So talking about the next one. So as I have said earlier also that is H2SO4 is very much reactive to the D block element so in that case basically whenever the iron is treated with concentrated H2SO4 then it will result in the formation of FeSO4 as a salt by the evolution of H2 as a gas. So talking about the next reaction that is when benzene is treated with H2SO4 this is an organic reaction so it will result in the formation of benzene sulfonic acid along with that of the removal of H2. So this proves that how basically H2SO4 is acting like a dehydrating agent also. And now let us talk about the next reactions. The next is the action of H2SO4 on PCL5 that is phosphorus pentachloride. So it will form that is chlorosulfuric acid that is ClSO2OH along with that of POCl3 and HCl as a byproduct. But if this Chlorosulfuric acid is further treated with PCl5, we could form that is ClSO2Cl or we could also call it as SO2Cl2 that is known as sulfuryl chloride along with that of POCl3 and HCl as a byproduct. So now talking about the next reaction that is H2SO4 is very much reactive to this complex that is potassium hexacyanoferrate and in that case 6 moles of H2SO4 is used along with that of 6 moles of H2 so as to produce that is 2 moles of K2SO4 that is potassium sulfate along with that of FeSO4 that is ferrous sulfate along with that of that is 3 moles of ammonium sulfate and 6 moles of carbon monoxide so talking about the last reaction suppose if we consider that is 3 moles of that is potassium chlorate and suppose if we are reacting with 3 moles of H2SO4 so therefore this will result in the formation of 3 moles of KHSO4 that is known as potassium hydrogen sulfate along with that of HClO4 and 2 moles of that is ClO2 that is an oxide of chlorine along with that of that is H2 as a byproduct. So this is how basically the reactions that is what I want to discuss about. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.